I think what we do, although we build houses, we hopefully build environments for people to live in, for interaction and human relationships and children to grow and be informed by their built environment. I believe architecture has the ability to actually shape the way people view the world. I was very interested in art from a young age. I love seeing something that started as just a spark in my mind get to fruition where we actually build it. The design process is a linear process. That line just doesn't happen to be straight. It's a constantly tightening spiral. Each decision informs the next decision. It really does build on itself. The complexity of the three-dimensional relationship of architecture and site is one that doesn't come instantly. Just close your eyes and imagine coming through the door, the light that you see, what your vistas are, pulling people's eyes and imaginations. Architecture is about experiences, time, distance, traveled. You're treating the landscape and the experience very much as a painter would. The whole notion of how you experience space and what it does to you is absolutely critical. Good architecture really looks like it's one with a site. It doesn't look like you force the landscape or the architecture on each other. It fulfills not only the relationship to the site, the client's wishes and needs, but also is deeply rooted in the traditions of architecture, proportion scale, and the relationship to natural harmonics. I really do believe that those kinds of spaces make us at peace. That probably is the deepest essence of how I really look at space and form. Our projects are built to last 150 years. They are hopefully properties that are handed down through families. It's also my job to make sure you're not a guest in my house when we're finished. It is an expression of your lifestyle and how you want to live. We are perfectionists, and not only myself, but I think that's a culture that's, that's absolutely embedded in this entire company. I rely on a very talented staff and project architects to continue to develop concepts, so it is very much of a studio process. I couldn't possibly produce the amount of architecture at the quality level that we do if it were just me. If you're doing this only for yourself, I don't think it'd be nearly as satisfying as really doing it for other people. It's about the relationships that are built, not only with the people that I work with here in the office, but also with clients. Some of the greatest satisfaction is when clients come to us after 20 or 30 years and say, this was a great place to raise a family. <laughs>